When we think of all the horrible things that we do to animals, we assume that there must be a necessary and vital reason that we're inflicting so much pain and suffering upon them. There's an idea that we need things like protein from animal flesh and calcium from cow's milk, but is this true or can we obtain those nutrients from plant sources rather than from animal sources? Now the easiest way of looking at this is the American Dietetic Association and the British Dietetic Association, which the largest bodies of diet and nutrition professionals in both countries have categorically stated that a vegan plant-based diet is nutritious nutritionally adequate, healthy and safe for all stages of life, including pregnancy. What this inherently means is that all the nutrients that we normally think we can only get from animal products, we can in fact get from plant sources instead. The protein, the iron, the zinc, the calcium, the omega-3 and 6 fatty acids can be found in abundance in the plant kingdom and there is no necessity for us to acquire these nutrients from animal products instead. I think a good way of looking at this is the largest and strongest land animals on this planet, the rhino, the elephant and the hippopotamus all have one thing in common. They're all herbivorous, meaning they survive purely off of plants alone. A gorilla shares 98% of our DNA, and again, they are herbivorous, and yet they can sustain and acquire enough protein to fit their physique and to keep them strong and alive. What this inherently proves is that these nutrients can be found in the plant kingdom. It means that we don't have to get them from animal sources, and they're definitely not found only in animal sources. There are an abundance of plant-based athletes all around the world, people like David Hay, the boxer, David Carter, the NFL player, Patrick Babumi and Jeremy's strongest man. There are baseball players, basketball players, NFL players, football players, rugby players, players in almost every sports profession who are now vegan, who are now plant-based and talking about how going plant-based improved their energy levels, improved their fitness, made them feel stronger, made them feel more capable as an athlete. There is no reason for us to eat animals, no moral justification whatsoever, and we can acquire all the nutrients, all the vitamins, all the minerals, and all the things that we need to sustain healthy life from plants. In fact, eating animals causes some of those prevailing diseases and illnesses that are affecting our society as a whole. Things like heart disease, certain forms of cancer, type 2 diabetes, osteoporosis, Alzheimer's, strokes, kidney failure. These diseases and illnesses can be attributed to the fact that we consume animal products. But most importantly, a simple switch to a plant-based diet, a simple switch to the foods that we are meant to eat can not only prevent these illnesses, but it can even treat and reverse some of them. In fact, there are people all over the West today currently reversing their heart disease and reversing their type 2 diabetes by simply switching from the foods that kill them to the foods that sustain and add longevity and vibrancy to their life. So no, there is no necessity for us to consume animal products. And all those horrible things that we're currently doing to animals are entirely unnecessary, are entirely needless, and cannot be morally justified.